Los Angeles set and we're going to look at Pavlov Lewis spy missions. We're going to be doing these without a stealth frame. I'm going to try and show you alternative routes, break it down for you, make it a little less scary, and because a member of my community, Chrono, asked for it, there are bloopers at the end. The first one we're going to look at has a terminal as soon as you approach it. You go through and you'll see lasers coming from the side. There are two ways to go through this particular room. The first one is to go up the stairs on the right. You'll come to an area where you see a Roomba looking thing. It has three beams, a break, three beams, a break. Jump up on top of the Roomba and then go through the door. Once you're through the door, you'll see an anomaly at the bottom. Drop down and go through. In the hallway, in the past, you're going to see that the walls and the floor are electrified. The path you have to take is through the center on the discs. You can either do the top or bottom with the center of the discs rotating. The outer rim does not, so you can always use it to readjust before taking your next jump. Once you get through there, you're going to come to a room with lasers in front of the door and two death orbs beside it. We're going to go to the top of the stairs, step on the disc, go down and through. It is timed. The death orbs trigger a wall that will come down and try and block your path. Once you get through, hack the console, turn around, and you'll see another anomaly to go through. There is an alternative route. When you first go in, if you go to the left, avoid the beams, you'll go through an anomaly into the past. Immediately go to the right, back through the anomaly to the present. Then you're gonna go across where there are no lasers, keeping in mind that there can be a sentry and bullet jumping too close to a sentry will set it off. Once you're through the hallway, drop off the balcony to the right and there's another anomaly below. Once you shoot the button to enter the next room, you'll see that there are three directions blocked to you. What you're going to need to do is go back into the past, go through the anomaly, and then hack the console. When you do that, the door to the left will open. The first way I'm going to show you has you go back through the anomaly into the present. If you go through the now open door on the left, you'll see the destroyed room with broken lasers. You're going to use the terrain to parkour your way through. There are several outcrops and rocks that you can jump on. Increasing your aim glide and your wall latch capabilities is really good for this particular mission. Um, there are several Xlist mods available for that. Um, my favorite is the Petagium, P-A-T-A-G-I-U-M, not really sure if I'm saying that right, um, but I would recommend it. In this room, the pillar in the center is electrified. You want to aim glide around it if possible and land on the far side. Once you go through and drop, you're going to come to a broken console, go through the anomaly on the right, back to the past where you'll be able to hack the console and then turn and go back to the main room where you'll go through an anomaly again. For the alternative route, when you go and hack the console and the door opens on the left, go through and you'll see a floating orb. If you shoot the button, then you're going to wall latch on the panels, shooting the button after you land each successful panel. You're going to use these to navigate through, touching the floor resets your progress and you have to start again until you get to the center. At the center on the left, you'll see an anomaly which would actually take you back to the present if you wanted to skip this part and do the parkour instead. Once you're in this room, you can shoot the button to stop the lasers. I just found it to be a hassle, so I didn't do it. The final part is we come to a carousel. There are four enemies and a spinning laser. What happens is when you step on the disc, it activates one of the enemies that you'll have to kill, and then when he's dead, the next one, and so on and so on. Once these four are dead, you go through the open door and to the console. Because C is so complicated, I've broken it into four sections. The first laser room has two routes. Both routes are accessible the same way. Go in to the right, shoot the button, go through the anomaly, and hack the console, which will take you to the past. Once in the past, the first route is to go to the opposite side of the room. A terminal will pop out of the floor, hack the terminal, go through the doors, and you'll be met by a wall of lasers. Once you reach this, you'll see a button and if you look to the right, you'll see a flashing vent. Shoot the vent, then shoot the button, wait for the lasers to pass, go through the vent, out through the other side of the door. 
This avoids the horseshoe-shaped room of lasers. The alternative route is after hacking the console, come through and shoot down the lamp to your left. Go back through the anomaly. Once you go back through to the present, you'll see that this has created a cavern underneath that you can go through and avoid the lasers. You're going to go through that anomaly and then hack the terminal and jump up. This brings us to our second room. The second room is another room full of lasers, both moving and stationary. The first way is to step on the panel, shoot the button, and then jump through as fast as you can, making it through before the doors on the other side close. There are several lasers along the way, and if you don't make it first through the first two doors before they close, there are alternative routes. The first alternative route starts out the same, but when you get past this first wall, if you haven't made it through, on the right hand side is an anomaly. You can pass through, taking you back to the present. Then go through the hole in the wall so that you can bypass the first set of lasers. Once you get into this room, you're going to see an anomaly on a conveyor belt. You want to pass through on the far side so that you come out in this room. The final anomaly that you can use is the top of the room before you even go into the laser room. Shoot it, go through, and when you come back to the present, the room is destroyed, and you can bypass it all together by going underneath. Once you go under, you're going to come to a room that has no exits. Go through the anomaly, back into the past, and shoot the exploding barrel. When you do so, you'll see that it does some damage to the wall, but not much. When you pass back through into present, you'll see that it has a ramp leading you up into the next room. Section 3 is the Simon Says Music Room. On the far side of the wall, you'll see a blinking button surrounded by six lights. It's important to know that you, the pattern that you're going to trigger is the one on the wall, not the one that lights up on the floor. You're going to jump on the six pillars on the ground, but they do not light up accordingly. You want to follow the pattern on the wall. If you hit a pillar wrong, you can start over. The punishment is the center beam will create a laser. Every time you mess up, another laser will form, making it more and more difficult to do this portion. Once you've completed the puzzle, the door opens up and this is the fastest route to the end. If you can't do the music puzzle or just don't want to, there is an alternative route. Use the anomaly to the right of the room to go back to the present. Then turn, go to your left, and jump through the doorway with the broken lasers. There are two routes through this section. The first one, you go through the anomaly on the right, shoot the button, hit the panel, and then go through the laser room. There are two death orbs along with two spinning orbs and several lasers. The other alternative route is to go straight forward, avoid the lasers, and get to the far side of the room. You're going to pass through the anomaly and shoot the button up on the wall. Doing so releases an exploding barrel that goes through and then you follow it. Once back in the present, you shoot the barrel, which drops the pillar, and busts the wall to the left. Now you'll find yourself in the final room. You're going to pass through the anomaly, go back into the past, and we'll begin our final section. In here, you'll see two floating canisters, one normal and one exploding, and a button on the wall. What we're going to do is hack the console and shoot the button. Once we do that, it's going to create an anomaly that moves and takes the barrels through. If it disables, just shoot it again. Then you're going to pass through following that exploding barrel into the present. Once you go through into the present, you'll see the barrel land on the floor. You'll shoot it, opening up the wall into a destroyed treasure room. Before you go through the portal on your left, and go back into the past to hack the console, go around the debris in the center, and blow up the barrel. What it's going to do is it's going to send a boulder back into the past and allow you access to that treasure room. In the treasure room, um, during the many trips I went through here, I got some stars, I got some mods, I got some credits and some resources. Not a whole lot of stuff, but after all of the parkour and lasers and jumping around, it was nice to have a little treasure room at the end. You're going to go through the door, hack the console, 
and once you do that is the end of the Lua Spies. You're going to go back through the anomaly to the present and that is it. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you did please click like and subscribe and check me out sometime on Twitch. Enjoy the bloopers.